I think it's a good environment where you feel like they're just pushing you to become mm. better. In the stadium, the stadium was loud. Micah played, you know, mm. scored. Rico, yeah, it was a great day. I thought I was offside. The ball went in and then I kind of forgot, so I went up to celebrate. Oscar, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations yes. thank on the you contract. Thank you so much. We're going to have a look at your journey so far. All right. Academy to first team. We've got a couple of pictures, videos. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, so, long first time one. Yeah. FPN. Yeah. Talk to me about that. It's uh, like a football school in uh, Oslo. Yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Very like technical, good coaching. So yeah, I think I was about 10, 11. Yeah, same. When, 10, did, you, 11. when did you start playing football? When was like your first memory of? Oh, I started playing in the, like a park outside the block where I grew up. Mm. I don't know, like six, seven, I think. So you went from like playing in the park to like organized football yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. I need to ask you. Yeah. Do you want any? Uh, Oh, with that ketchup. <laughs> There's a lot of ketchup on there, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't, really, I don't really like ketchup anymore. But, Put yeah. yourself off? Yeah, I think so. No, I, this was my, I think uh, I was around 12, 13 there. My team, Lin. Mm. Lin. And some of these guys play like professional in Norway now. Like the guy on the left, he plays in the first division in Norway. Do you feel like you've always played at a, a good level throughout growing up sort of thing? Yeah, I think so. I've always been with good players that still play and uh, yeah. Now this uh, one. Let's just watch this little clip. Oh yeah, I remember this. You've not changed, eh? No, not too much. Even like the dribbling style is... Yeah, similar. Little jinky my jinky style, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, I remember this, of course. What, what, was, what was the dream back then? What was like, what did you think? How far did you think you could go sort of thing? I don't know. I don't think you think too far ahead yeah. sometimes. So here I was just really enjoying it. It was so much fun. No, I played with like my best friends. It was, uh, yeah, it was lovely. I don't think I would have thought I'd be here, but it was the dream, of course. What's it like watching this back? Is it, does it feel a bit strange? Like, because I always feel like you watch videos back and it doesn't feel like that long ago, right? No, this feels like long ago, <laughs> but it is like eight, nine years, years ago, I think. Yeah, I have good memories from all these clips. And then obviously, yep, you I, joined. I remember this game against Liverpool at home. Uh, yeah, my first year. I think this was like my second or third game. What was it like when you first came over, what, making the move? I think it was made easy by the club, the, the people in the academy, the staff. Um, I lived over there mm. with uh, house parents and a lot of my teammates. Do you feel like your style transitioned well coming to City? Yeah, definitely. I think I, think so. I was in a good team. Uh, Cole, Umakati, Sam Adozi, Liam the Lab. Who else? Who else? Alex Robertson, mm. like a lot of top players. Uh, Josh Esman, yeah, I had there was, it was a very good team. So I didn't feel too good at the time because everyone else was so good. But no, it was an easy transition. Yeah. Though. Did yeah. you feel like you had to step up your game? You're coming over, you're like the new guy. Was it like, yeah. I need, to, I need to show what I can do. No, 100%. Um, I think, uh, but I think it's a good environment where you feel like. You're not, uh, I, like, they're just pushing you to become mm. better. Yeah, I remember this, yeah. Yeah, this was my second year. That's Carlos, huh? Left wing, yeah. Sam. But it's the style was like, exactly the same, man. Like, even the way, yeah. like, the way your body is, like, it's strange how much, like, you actually take from being a youngster, like, yeah. carry that with you, like, the foundations are there. Yeah, look at Phil. It's yeah. The same, man. And then being a part of this team. Oh, yeah. Winning that. that was great. I think I've, I've won a trophy every year in the academy, so it's, it's an amazing feeling, the best feeling there is, really. But then, obviously, EFL Cup, yep. men's football now. Yeah, it's tough. I was gonna say, how did you find the step up? No, I think the EFL Cup was very tough, where you go to, like, um, away grounds where there's real men playing and mm. you're struggling every, every time you play them. But it's a great experience, honestly. You wait for Youth League? Yeah. Played against some serious ballers. Yeah, he's good. At <laughs> he's got a bit. Huh? Yeah, I used to grow up watching youth league, so to play in it was good. What's the experience like, like being able to go and play abroad in this competition? Like, what, what's that like as a, from a team standpoint? Does it feel no, different I, to like? Yeah, I think it's really exciting. It's like um, something a lot of the players have never. Uh, it's like their first time really traveling for a serious match. So yeah, it's, it helps a lot. And obviously, you won Player of the Year. Yeah. How, how was that for you? 
know, it was very good. I mean, we had a very good season and I was very happy to be a part of the team and to get this was like the cherry on top. Do you feel like well, almost uh, you're now, you've done the process, you've gone through to the first team. Do you have some of the younger lads coming to you, talking to you like, you're a role model now. How, does, how has that been for you? With the young players that are here now, I think I have a good relationship with them. So if there's any, ever any questions, they just come up in like regular conversations. But as a younger player, I always look for advice. So if I can give any out, it's, it's an honour. Yeah. Important tapping into the knowledge oh, of yeah. you done it before you let the next generation. Yeah, but I, I still, I, I'm still where I'm asking other people for advice. You know. That's how you learn, man. Yeah. Yeah. This was last season. Remember this. Brian, our EDS manager. Yeah. Described you as a street footballer, someone mm. who wants the ball and is always having fun. Mm. Is that is that how you is that how you sort of see yourself playing? I hope. To, I think that's what I want to be, but. Uh, it's not always easy, I think, especially now at the, at the highest level, it's, there's times where it's, it's very hard to, to be like that and only certain players like a Phil, Bernardo, mm. they can do it, but um, I want to be and I'm, tra I'm striving for it, so. Do you feel like you're improving day on day, is that like? Yeah. I know you said you don't, want, you don't want to think too far ahead, Yeah. you think day by day, do you feel like you're improving day by day, little bits, little yeah, things. Yeah, I think I'm learning so, more than I've ever learned before. Where where to be, when to be where, it's, um, it's very good. And then training with these guys, is, it's the best place to be to learn. Let's talk, national yeah. team. How yeah. much of an honour was it to, to make your debut? It was another dream, playing with Erling, Erdogan. Yeah, it's, it was very good. And then soon after, first goal, yeah. How much of a whirlwind was that? Like, cause it all happened so quickly, right? Yeah. It was Faroe Islands. Mm. It was, it's at home. Uh, it was freezing, but yeah, it was a, a great moment. Freezing. It's cold in Norway all the time, though. Yeah, it was like <laughs> minus 10, 11. I don't know. Oh, there, yeah, that's yeah, I was saying. You live in Manchester, like, you're telling me it's cold? I'm uh, no. that, but yeah, that is very cold. Yeah. And then let's talk Champions League debut. Yeah. You said how special playing Youth League was. Yeah, it's even more special, of course. In the stadium, the stadium was loud. It was, uh, it was so enjoyable. To, and Micah played, you know, mm. scored. Rico, it was, uh, yeah, it was a great day. All boys that have been on, on your journey as like, and then Yeah, to be there, you know. been playing each other, with each other for a few years now, so it was great. I'm gonna yeah. ask, um, I don't know if it's a cliche question, music, mm. when it plays, does it, does it hit different when you're lined up? I remember this game, I couldn't hear it. it was, uh, <laughs> the, I think the speaker was a bit, uh, wasn't the best. And it was loud, you know. Yeah. Just hear it. That was a bit disappointing, but Champions League nights are special, and mm. the game's always at night. The crowds, uh, Premier League is like this, but Champions League is also, and sometimes Champions League can be more special because yeah. say we went, say we go to Red Star, that's Man City coming to Red Star. It doesn't happen a lot, you know. But um, I'd say both Premier League and Champions League the atmosphere and. The, yeah, the vibe is always very good. Club World Cup. Yeah. Another trophy. Another trophy. To play in that competition must have been unbelievable. I have a lot of Brazilian fans and the Club World Cup is is the thing to win, you know? Yeah. So, and I have kind of got that uh, feeling now, so uh, it was great, an honour, honestly. What was your favourite moment from the trip? Like the whole thing in, in all? Yeah, I think the final was good against Fluminense and there was, uh, you know, Marcelo, Felipe mm. Melo, like old legends. And they played, I love the way they play and and we managed to beat them, which was great. But um, yeah, the final was, the whole game was really enjoyable. And finally, this goal, the yeah. goal against Newcastle. Talk me through it because I don't, I didn't even see the run. I mean, I'm, I'm no baller by any standard, but I didn't even see the run, the pass. It's all happened so fast. Yeah. No, I thought, I thought I was offside and then, then I got a good touch. The ball went in and then I kind of forgot, so I went off to celebrate. Yeah, it was great. And the chant as well to go with it. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's, yeah, it's got a bit. It's good. Oscar. It's pop, pop, pop. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Yeah. Best luck in the rest of the Love season. Yeah. Gonna Thank hear you. that ring around the stadium for sure. Thank you.